Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video we'll be looking at how we can manipulate the image. And guys we don't have to do anything in the controller. We'll do everything in this image field class. So you can share guys it will just remain the same. So we'll just go to this article and here we'll go to image field. And what we will be doing is we will add the functionality to change the image name, folder and disk. So here we are just storing the image and returning the value. But here guys there is one problem. Let's fix that first. Let's say whenever we pass this value. Let's say this passed value is not the instance of uploaded file over here. Then it will throw us an error whenever we try to access the store method. And we can access the store method on the uploaded file instance. And whenever we upload any file from the form then laravel will internally wrap that file inside the uploaded file class and let's say if it is not the instance of uploaded file then we'll just do the same thing either we can add here or and say not this is the instance of uploaded file or we can just simply duplicate it and i like this pattern guys whether it is duplicating this code it will be so easier to debug in the future so let's say if it is not instance of uploaded file and guys it is illuminate http uploaded file if it is not the instance of uploaded file then we'll return whatever it is okay guys now here we want to store the uploaded image to a different directory then let's define a field over here so here let's say private string folder and by default it will be images like this and we can let's say create a new public folder which will say store to folder and we'll say here string folder and here we'll just set this folder equals to folder and we'll return dollar this so if you return this then we can change any other method after we call this store to folder we have defined this folder over here guys now if we go here in the article method then we can call that method from here because image field new will return the new instance of this image field and we can just call whatever method that is defined in that image field all the public methods so now we can say here store to folder and let's say photos like this and it will call this store to photos and it will set the folder and whenever we call execute from that save model class it will call this and we'll just store it to the images now but now let's change this images to this folder now it will save that image to this folder okay and we have set that to photos and guys if i show you here in this my file structure then inside the storage there is no photos directory okay now let me go to the browser fill in the fields select a photo from here and if i submit so you can share guys it is a success now guys you can share a photos folder is created and inside that a random file is generated which is the image that we have uploaded and now if i come here and refresh we can see the same title slog and this image as well okay now guys let's say we want to save our photo to a different disk let's say to an s3 bucket and by default laravel come with the support for s3 as well if i show you here inside this config folder there is a file systems and here guys if you see here it supports all these things so here local ftp sftp or s3 we can use any one of these but in this video i'll just use local and i'll create a different disk and i'll store to that and i'll show you that so here guys inside this image field let me go here and now let's say here public disk string disk and here and we haven't defined this over here and let's say here like this disk and if the user doesn't explicitly tells we want to store to this disk then we'll store to the default disk that is provided to us by the laravel and which is specified over here this file system which is local okay and we can change this from the .env file if you see here guys .env so you can share guys i have set it to public okay so it will just override this local and it will save it to the public and which is this and here guys if you look here then it will store the image to this storage path and then app 
public directory but we have seen here guys from the public directory if you look here closely we, we were always looking at this public storage and this images folder but actually it is if you see this arrow icon it is sim linked to this storage path app public directory and whenever we run psp artisan storage colon link command then it will link this folder to this public folder storage okay and if i show you guys here inside this storage we have images and photos folder and if i go here inside this storage path this storage path will give us the directory path up to here and then we we'll look here in the app and inside this public then we can share guys images and photos and here also we can see images and photos if i open this photos and this photos then we can see here it is the same file the actual files are inside this storage app public folder but it is sim linked to this public folder and storage here so we can access it from the url which is this app url and guys if we look here in this env.app url dot dot env here we can see here guys laratips.test so whenever we access laratips.test slash storage and the name of the file then we can access that file from the url but now let us create our own custom disk here so let me just duplicate this and we'll say here custom and sometimes guys in the shared hosting you may not have access to the storage link command so in that case we can create a custom disk and we can store it to that so instead of storage path we'll say public path like this and here we'll say here let's say custom like this okay and here in the app underscore url this will just give us the app url and here we can say here custom like this okay and after this it will append the uploaded file path now guys if i go here in the image field sorry in the article and if i say here disk like this and let me say here custom like this okay and now if i go here in the public folder guys here so there is no any custom folder over here yeah and guys if i come here in the image field so here we have this disk images by default but it must be null over here and we'll just say here like this suppose let's say a user haven't defined any disk then we'll just by default save it into the laravel defaults file system so now here guys we'll just say this disk will be dollar disk whatever the user provides to us and we'll say return dollar this and now guys here we can just pass as a second parameter the disk name and we can just say the disk name like this config file system default if no disk has been provided to us by the user so we can say here the this disk and if there is no disk we'll just say config file system or we can extract this into its own directory so we'll say here this disk name like this and now we can just define a private method because we don't want anyone to access this method and we'll say here name and we'll return a string and we'll say it here like this return and we'll not forget to write this opening and closing bracket and here will be a semicolon and here we have a disk name and we have already set this disk to custom and now if i come here in the browser fill the fields choose a file let me choose this one now and if i hit and submit now you can see guys it is saying me success and now if i come here and if i show you here inside this public now you can see here guys the custom directory is created and inside here it has created a photos folder because we have told this to store in a photos and now guys if i come here in the browser and if i say here let's say lara tips dot test slash custom slash photos slash and let me just grab the name of this image and paste it over here now you can share guys i can get that image now we have seen how we can change the disk as well now we'll see how to change the name of the file itself so now let me go back to this here now here i'll show you guys how we can access the uploaded file from here so let me go to image field over here and we can do that with the help of closures so here guys we'll define a field private let's say closure and you can see here guys it is imported over here 
closer let's say file name closer and it will be null by default suppose let's say user don't define any file name then we'll just generate the random file name as we have done before okay now let us create a new method over here let's say public method and here we'll say file name and we'll just accept a closer closer and we'll say closer and here we'll just say this file name closer and it will equal to just closer and we'll return dollar this and guys we can just call this file name from here okay here file name like this and we can pass a closer function like this so when we just call this guys this closer will not get executed and we can just define where this closure will be executed and wherever we call this closure we can pass a value and that will be available over here and we'll pass value from this execute method here we can say here guys if not dollar this file name closure then we can say here just return this value which is as before but if there is a file name closure so if it is set from here like this then it will have some value then we can say here guys dollar file name and we can see here this file name closer and then we can pass this value like this but you can see here guys it is giving us some error because this file name closer function is not defined in this class but we have this property okay but we can call it as a closer like this we can just wrap it inside round brackets and we can call this value because we know that it will be a closer because we have just defined it as a closer now here guys we'll get a file name because we can return a file name from here so we'll say just return and we'll just accept that over here uploaded file and we'll say uploaded file and guys i am writing here uploaded file because as i have said in the beginning of the video laravel will wrap the file that we have uploaded inside this uploaded file class and if you see here guys we'll always get uploaded file instance over here because we are saying here if it is not the instance of this uploaded file we'll just return whatever value we have gained from the input and now here guys i can say uploaded file get client original name like this and it will return the original name of the file and now here guys i can just copy this thing over here and i can just say it like this and instead of store i'll say store as and the second parameter will be the name of the file file name like this and now let me go to the browser over here let me go back again fill the form and choose a file let me choose this file and guys let me do here inside here dd okay dd and here uploaded file like this and let's see we'll reach here or not so now here i'll just click on submit now you can see here guys i can get that same image file over here yeah which is the instance of this illuminate http uploaded file and guys let me go to this image field and here we are seeing this file name yeah so now let me do dd over here and let's say file name over here like this and let's see what we'll get here so let me resubmit this form from here and now you can see here guys, I am seeing this new way to save data in the database because this file closure is set. So it will not go inside here and it will come here and we'll get the file name and we'll store that file in this folder, which is this photos folder in this custom disk and with the name, this new way to save data in the database. Okay, now guys, let me go to the browser and resubmit this form and hit on continue. Now it's a success. And now guys, if I come here and let me go to the public custom photos and you can see here guys, there is a new way to save data in the database. So in this way, guys, we can give the power to customize the image name to the user themselves. And guys, I'll tell you one thing that you can do. And if you did that, then just let me know in the comment section below but I'll not implement it over here, okay? So here guys, what you can do is, instead of doing this, you can just create a method in this image field and just append it here. Use default file name or use default image name. And instead of doing this, you can just say use default image name here and it will automatically take the default image name. 
So guys, if you implement this, then just let me know in the comment section below. So now let me just undo the changes from here. And that's it for this video guys. And in the next video, we'll be looking at what happens when we add a new field in the articles table. And guys, one thing to be noted that if I show you here guys in the articles controller, and if I go here in this save model execute. So guys here, this class will never change. We never have to look at this class again. And this confirms the open closed principle. So this class is open for extension and closed for modification. We don't have to modify anything in the class, but we can extend this. Let's say if there is a new Boolean field, then what we can do is we can just create a new Boolean field over here and then it will automatically work. We don't have to do anything in the same model. And I'll show you that in the next video. I thought it would be only two or three videos, but I think I have to make one more video about that. And whenever there is a new field, so I'll show you about a Boolean field, but let's say if there is another field which has only date field or which has only time field, then also you can create a new file and you don't have to do anything in the same model. So that's it for this video guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.